You had better surrender, boys. Maybe we better do it. Not as long as I've got this bottle of X-94. Come on, your hands up. I'm coming after you. You're done, I'll blow you to pieces. I'm warning you, Ranger. One more step and you'll never take another. Got to be my eyes. <coughs> Take me back to headquarters. Here he is now. Get me a pan of water. Hello, Doc. Let me see your eyes, Tom. Exaggerated myopia, superinduced by glare. No perforation, and only a superficial lesion of retinal structure. Sounds bad, Doc. What is it? Just temporary blindness, Tom. You'll be as fit as a fiddle inside of three hours. I'd better be. I've got to get after the fellow that's responsible for this. <laughs> we'll have you going very shortly now. It's more painful than serious. And just as Morgan was a bottle of X-94, and it blew him all to pieces, I've never seen anything explode like that in all my life. Yeah. Good work. I don't believe Tom Morgan is dead when I get an invitation to his funeral. Well, perhaps I can arrange that for you too, Jens. Don't worry about Morgan. Why, well, there was enough X-94 in that bottle to blow up a regiment. And with X-94, I'll control the munition business of the world. Wait a minute, Darrell. You're forgetting I'm cutting in on this deal 50-50. Take it easy, Jens. I'm figuring you in. You bet you are. And don't forget it. Now, the mineral known as X-94 is located on the reservation. We've got to move the Indians before we can mine it. And that's where you come in. Yeah? Now, here's my plan. You go to the reservation and claim that an Indian robbed your store. I'll arrange to have some of your goods planted in an Indian hut. What's the rest of it? Why arouse the town people against the Indians? Good. That will mean a riot and the Indians will be moved. Sarah, I'll do it. Here it is. Longboat managed to steal it from one of the Indian huts. Splendid, Carlton, splendid. Give Longboat the rest of his instructions. This is all the proof you need. The thief dropped it in your store. Get it? I get it. Good. <laughs> Now, be sure you plant these bolts of silk in the hut where you stole the wristband.
get your promise, Featherfoot, to wear those nice new shoes. Uh, shoes no like feet. You'll find them much better than moccasins. Thieving redskins of yours have been at it again. Rob my store of hundreds of dollars worth of silk. I don't believe you. My people do not steal. Just a minute, Jans. What makes you think an Indian robbed you? The thief left this behind. Featherfoot. Oh, so he's the one. He was asking me the prices of silk only last week. Featherfoot wouldn't do such a thing. You don't believe him, do you? We'll soon find out. Come on. to this one. Take a look at that. What did I tell you, Adams? You thieving redskin. What did you do with the stuff you stole from my store? Featherfoot, no steal. But Mr. Jan found this in his store. How can you explain that? No sabi. You sabi a noose around your neck. All right, Bruner, search the place. He's got the stuff hidden around here somewhere. No, no, this is Featherfoot's lawn. Uh, keep your thieving hands off me! Look! What did I tell you? But you didn't steal these things. Tell him you didn't. Well, the foot, no steal. Then how did this silk get here? This is one time you Indians are not going to get away with it. After this, there won't be room in this country for you and your tribe. All right, Bruner, take him away. Wait a minute. Jams, as Indian agent, I am the only authority on this reservation. If Featherfoot is guilty, he will be punished according to law. But no one is going to take matters into his own hands. I'm going to telephone Tom Morgan at Ranger headquarters. You and Morgan have been babying this tribe too long. You're wasting your time to, uh, calling that ranger. You'll get justice. You bet I will. When the townspeople go after it in their own way. Come on, Featherfoot. Morgan and his rangers will straighten this out. Why, there's something the matter with the phone. Mr. Jans is returning to town. Surely he'll drive you to Ranger headquarters. Why, but I... Well, I... Oh, what about the Indian? Well, he'll be here when I get back. Come on, Featherfoot. I've got to lock you up, Featherfoot, till I get back from town. Featherfoot, understand. If you're ready, Jans, we'll start now.
this long boat. Indian agent going to town to get Ranger. Then Featherfoot is alone in the office? Uh. Good. Get the men started. It's time to strike. I don't know why I want us to wear these clothes. So we look like town people, that's why. Here he comes now. Ready to go, boys? Ready. Right. Okay. You'll find that Indian alone up in Adam's office. And be sure and get him. Now. Hurry it up. We've got to get to Ranger Headquarters. By all means, this is important. Uh, I'm sorry, Adam. Cottonwood, what is it? White Hank comes to take further foot. Cottonwood, go tell his brother. on the white horse. Stop him here. Pass it over there.
Let's hunt up, fix that Indian. Yeah. Draw him for our loot. 